moving away a little bit from the TCG because there's some Master Duel news today and some stuff going on in the Master Duel world that we need to talk about. Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2023 qualifier is now live. Ooh. There's been there is some information here that I perf that I did not know about before today. I looked at it this morning and I was like, I did not know about this beforehand. Because apparently they have detailed the regions a little bit more. Okay, so as a reminder, the first stage begins today, while the second stage begins on May 26th to May 29th. Now, the second stage is where it really matters. The second stage is where you qualify for Worlds, and I will be streaming the second stage. I will try to qualify. I don't know how realistic it is. I don't know how hard it's going to be, but I will try, and I will be live over the weekend uh, I will probably not do a like 70 hour stream. I'll probably have to sleep in between and what else and whatnot. So like like that. But I will I will try to qualify during the second stage and I will stream my 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 journey essentially. So there's that. But for now, but that is still what? 10 days away. That is still 10 days away. Time zones applying. During the first stage, you increase your duelist level by winning matches, and when you reach duelist level 20, you advance to the second stage. So at some point during the first stage, we will also do this on stream. I don't think qualifying for the second stage is going to be that hard, you just have to play a bunch. You can qualify to the world championship by being the top players in your region during the second stage. The regions for the qualifier have now been detailed as follows, and this is important information for everyone who wants to try. Area A, Japan, first and second player qualify. Keep in mind, that means six players go for Team Japan because it means the first player can bring a team of three and the second player can bring a team of three. Area B, the rest of Asia, only first. Only first gets, only first from the entirety of Asia outside of Japan <laughs> is only one. North America, First and second place, bring a team of three. So for NA, top two. Area D, Latin America, only first place in Latin America gets to go. Area E, which is my region, Europe, Middle East, Oceania, and Africa all combined into one region, which is kind of a weird split, but okay. We are split in between all those regions, but... We get two slots, first and second place, which makes a total of eight winners. Two from Japan, one from Asia, one, uh, two from North America, one from Latin America, and two from Europe, Middle East, Oceania, Africa. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. Um, it's, I'm sure it's going to be hella stressful, and I don't know, I don't know how realistic it is, but we will try nonetheless the um yeah that is that um there's one thing i was not sure about because tell me if you've been if you've been playing one of the previous um master duel cups what, what were they called duelist cups they used to have a leaderboard right they used to have a leaderboard, but they their leaderboard was always worldwide, right? It was a worldwide leaderboard, which was which is kind of weird because imagine you are imagine you are like fifth place. Let's say you're fifth place worldwide. What does that mean? You don't know if you're gonna qualify. You can see the breakdown per region. Oh, that, see, that's the information I was looking for. That's the information I was looking for. If we have region-based leaderboards, then forget what I just said. That's what I was worried about. Okay. Can you look at... If you can look at your region's leaderboard separately, that would be great. That would be great. Could they check for cheaters? I hope so. I hope so. In Duel Links, I think they did. That's what I know. We've never had this in Master Duel, but I, I'm pretty sure that in Duel Links, there has been 
um there has this has happened before where people had like exploits or something and i think they got banned so they if they do it in duel links surely they'll do it in master duel too because like i I, th I feel like they care more about Master Duel than Duel Links, so I'm pretty sure they will be, um, I think they will be on it, hopefully. Alright. Again, as a reminder, these top players will take two more players with them for a three-player team, and these teammates have to be chosen among other players that have advanced to the second stage and also belong to the same region as the regional representative. As for the, for the event itself, these are the available rewards. Okay, so if anyone cares for the rewards... This is the first stage. If you reach Duelist level 20, you get a fair bit of rewards, right? You get 100, 200, 400, 5, 6, 9, 10, 1,000, 11, 12, 13, 15, 1,900 gems. Oh, <laughs> it says on the bottom, okay. <laughs> um, and you get these tickets, which I don't know exactly how they're gonna how they're gonna work, but it looked like the the tickets looked like uh, I can't tell. Is three point five k total? I mean, it's probably gonna be more from missions, right? This is only the level up rewards, but yeah, we'll see. And then we have uh, sleeves, which look decent. We have titles. We have more rewards for the second stage. Yeah, and all that stuff, right? And then you have some icons, I guess. And then you have the contents of the 2023 special reward tickets are as follows. Well, those are some, those are some cards of all time. They are definitely worth, they are worthy of a world championship qualifier price card, right? Those are basically your world championship qualifier cards. Yep. Furthermore, a, a sprite blue mate is now available for purchase. Oh, Pog. <laughs> 